spirit photographs are very, very interesting. And perhaps the most famous original one was of the late President Lincoln after the assassination, a photograph of his wife with his spirit in the picture. Now, you've had a very similar experience here in Pantelegea. You're Mr. Hugh Harris. That's yeah, right. and you were there with your wife when the picture was taken. I'd love you to tell me about it. Yes, I was there with my wife Jo. It's about two years ago. It was a grey February day, and um, I, I, I'm a regular here. I volunteer, so I was bringing my wife down just to sort of explore and um, taking photographs as we were going. And yeah. um, she took a photograph over here from the bridge of the waterfall, and the waterfall was running at the time. Uh, it was winter and uh, obviously plenty of rain around. And um, she just took it. And um, I did say, first of all, shall we go down and explore, you know? Uh, but right. she said, no, it's a bit spooky. Um, I, I don't want to go down. Right. And um, I listened to her because she she does have sort of um, experiences or she's sensitive to sort of things that, mm-hmm. that happen, um, you know, in the house particularly. <laughs> right. Um, and, um, yeah, it wasn't until we got home that she looked at the photograph on, on her phone, uh, enlarged on a, on a tablet, and mm-hmm. um, she said, she called me over and said, have a look at this. And right. instantly I could see that this, this figure, long hair, I thought I could see a pair of eyes as well. And, right. Um, it really sort of sent a shiver down my back. And, yes. uh, yeah, it was, it was amazing. What do you think it it was? Was it, was it a, a spirit of someone who'd lived in the past? Like the Lincoln photograph that I told you about at the beginning, where, where President Lincoln's spirit appeared in the photograph after the assassination. It could well have been. I mean, I, I keep an open mind on these things. and, and uh, But, it, it, yes, it, it could be a play of light on water or whatever. But it, the, the way that these features came together... Oh, yes, uh, yes. Uh, just, just fascinated me, and, and I thought, there's got to be more to this. Yeah. Well, I found it very impressive indeed, and mm-hmm. it, it looked to me so much like a human figure. It did, yeah. Do you know if there was ever any association of any particular person with this bridge and with the waterfall behind it, what, which might have led them, just as, you know, President Lincoln's spirit appeared, mm. whether there had been any story in the history of Bentleguer where somebody had been associated with this bridge? Um, I don't know, to be honest. I, I'm not um, a historian of the area, but, um, yeah, I'd be happy to know if, if yes, that was the w- case. Yes, <laughs> it would, would be very interesting yeah. because um, there are so many cases in history of uh, spirits who've been associated during their lives with a particular place or with a particular episode at that place. Fancy. And uh, I could tell you very briefly a story of a friend of mine who passed away after we'd taught together for many years, and we're very close friends, and I saw his spirit as clearly as if he was alive again. When he'd passed, he'd been in his 60s, and a long, sad illness. When I saw him again, it was as he was when we were young teachers together 40 years ago. Mm. And uh, I found that in the, the place where, we, well, where I'd seen his spirit, it was somewhere that we had known together years ago. Yeah. And I'd associated it with him in my mind, and then suddenly he was there. But looking as he had in his 20s, rather than when he was you know, old and ill. Yeah. So that... I think there must be some association, or it's probable that there's an association, if only we could identify the the person in that wonderful picture, that fascinating mm. picture, mm. to say, was it something to do with this bridge or this location? If you like my videos here on YouTube, please like, share, 
subscribe. Why don't you join me at the rectory for another cup of tea and a slice of cake very soon?